Hello, hello, hello. I am the Linux Mitch. My last video was installing and configuring the i3 window manager in Arch Linux. But can I install it in Linux Mint? Let's take a look at it. So today I'm in a virtual machine of Linux Mint 22. And if you don't believe me, you think I faked it with the wallpaper. <laughs> Let's do a NeoFetch. And you can see I'm in Linux Mint 22. Now you can go to the software center and do this, but I'm gonna do it in the terminal. Let's open it up. Let's do sudo apt install i3 and nitro, nitrogen. And let's hit enter. And let's put my password in. And let's see what it's doing. Let's hit enter. And I'm going to pause the video while it's installing. Well, it's not going to take long. <laughs> and it's done. I don't even think that took a minute. In my last video, my Arch Linux video with the i3 window manager, I installed the default i3. I showed you what it looked like. And I showed you how to configure it. And eventually I ended up with my own configuration. Today, I'm not going to go through all that. I'm not going to install the default. What I'm going to do is just Download my GitLab repository and copy my configuration files into here. And load it up and see what it looks like. I don't have my mensh directory in here. I'm going to clear the screen. And let's do this. Git clone https colon slash slash gitlab dot oops dot com slash rdbis one slash mensh dot git let's hit enter oh i don't have git installed <laughs> hey okay let's clear the screen and let's do sudo apt install git and let's hit enter you think uh, linux mint would come with git installed wouldn't you by default okay so git's installed let's clear the screen and let's backspace there we go. Now, this command to download my GitLab repository is in the show notes of all my videos. Let's hit enter and let's clone my mensh directory. Let's clear the screen. Let's cd into uh, mensh. Let's ls it. Let's cd into arch. ls it. And let's copy. Let's do copy i3 well it didn't do that right let's copy dash r i3 and i3 status to tilde slash dot config i think that's right and let's just get out of there and let's go to um dot config Oops, uh, th this is bash. So Linux Mint comes with bash and I'm used to working in Zesh. Now I can install Zesh if I want, but I'm not gonna bother. Let's cd into dot config. And let's ls it. Oh, and here we can see it. Here's my i3 and here's my i3 status. So what I'm gonna do is uh, let's close this and let's log out and we're logging out and let's open up this icon here and there we have it i3 let's click it on let's put my password in let's see what happens and we are in my configuration file of i3 now a few things look wrong what's this well, that's my network <laughs> that, oh Oh, system reports. Uh, let's ignore that for now. And let's let's get out of there. That, that's the Linux Mint system reports. So things look a little bit off. So I need to adjust some a few things in here because this is my configuration file. And I don't have my wallpapers in here. So what I'm going to do is, and my terminal is not opening up. So I'm going to have to fix a few things. Let's do mod key P. And let's type in uh, 
X term. And don't tell me X term is not installed. Well, it must be because it came up there. Hmm, this is strange. Okay. Let's type in GNOME terminal. I can get that to open. Okay. Ooh, sorry about the bright white screen. So what I'm going to do is uh, cd into dot oop dot config cd into i3. And I bet you vim is not installed. <laughs> vim into vim into config. And vim is not installed. Ay, ay, ay. Okay, let's cd out of there. Let's sudo apt install vim. I don't know why this would come without vim installed. That doesn't make sense. It's Linux Mint 22. Okay, now let's cd back into dot config slash i3 slash. And let's vim into config. Here we are. So this is commented it out. Let's put that back in. And I don't think volume icon is installed. Um, let's comment it out. Oh, and let's go down here and see what my terminal is. My terminal is at, is X term, so it should work. And let's just get out of there. Well, let's just do this. Okay, let's close it. Let's exit out and go back in. And let's put my password in. Oh, there. Now the resolution is fixed. And, oh, I know what I wanted to do. Let's see if this works. My terminal is still not opening up. Xterm, is Xterm not installed? You know what? I don't think Xterm is installed. But I don't know what, it's showing up in D menu. Let's do gnome dash terminal. And let's do sudo apt install Xterm. Don't tell me it's not in there. Put my password in and hit enter. Yeah, I'm not a great fan of gnome terminal. That's no, not that bad, I guess. Let's refresh it and now let's do mod key enter. And there's, oh, that's not good. Let's close that. Let's do a GNOME terminal. Let's cd into mench. Let's ls it. Let's cd into Linux Mint. My Linux Mint folder. Oops. You know what? I'm used to using my Zash configuration file. Okay, let's see what's in here. Now what happens if I run my configs? Let's go into uh, run configs. Vim run, I just wanna see what's in there. I haven't been in this for a long time. Couple configuration files, uh, three wallpapers, and my awesome configuration file. Right, let's run it. Let's do uh, run. That's done. Now let's close it. Let's restart it. And let's quit out of there and let's go back. And let's go back in. And let's enter it. Ah, oh, well, a bit better. <laughs> so that's X term. And um, do we have sudo apt install? Volume icon, not there. There we go. Let's try that. And let's quit out of there. I'm going to quit and go back in. Password in. And there we go. <laughs> now what I'm going to do is uh, open the mixer. No, open preferences. And of course, I did this in my last video. And I'm going to make this the icon theme. I'm going to make it white GNOME. And I'm going to put the slider on. Close it. And let's open it. And now we have the slider. Okay. Now what else can I do? Oh, yeah, I got to set nitrogen. So let's open up nitrogen. And let's hit um, preferences. 
Let's take off this recursive. We don't want that. And let's add. And we're going to go into Mench. And we're going to select it. We're going to OK it. And I'm going to open up this one, just like I did in my last video. And I'm going to apply it. And I'm going to close this. Now you have wallpaper. <laughs> and, oh, I know what I want to do. I want to open up my terminal, so be mod key enter. And I'm going to CD into config i i3. And I'm going to vim into config set numbers. Okay, that's better. And let's go down to the bottom. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the status bar on top. And if you watch my last video, you're going to know how to do this. And let's do a, let's reset. And now the status bar is on top. And let's just open up another workspace. And there we are. So, and one thing, so I have the volume control here. And here in the middle, you can hardly see it, is our network. Okay, there's my network. And one thing I really like about this, and I wasn't expecting it, is that the uh, Linux Mint icon that shows you whether your system is up to date or not is here. I didn't think that was going to work in this window manager. So if I click it on, look at that. Let's refresh it. See what happens. And I'm going to have to do an update. I updated the system this morning. Of course, this is a virtual machine of Linux Mint 22. And I updated it this morning. Oh, it's, and it's up to date. Of course it is, because I updated it this morning. There was 46 updates to do. So let's close that. And I wasn't expecting that to show up here. Now let's open up a terminal and let's do an HTOP. So it's running at 492 megabytes of RAM. Now it's running heavier than it would. Now, you know what? I'm just going to, let's open up a workspace three. I'm just going to bring my face down. Let's go back to HTOP. So it's running heavier than it does in Arch Linux. And that's because Debian, any Debian based distribution, whatever you open up, it's going to run maybe a hundred megabytes or maybe 150 megabytes heavier than in Arch Linux because Arch Linux is lighter than Debian or Ubuntu. Or we can go into Cinnamon default. Let's put my password in. And that's it. In this video, I showed you how to install the i3 window manager in Linux Mint with my configuration file. And right now, I have a virtual machine of pure Debian running the i3 window manager with my configuration file. But I can't show you because it's at work. So at work, I'm running Windows 10 and I have a virtual machine in Windows 10 of pure Debian and I installed the i3 window manager with my configuration file. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like it and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching. Until next time. I am the Lennox Mensch.